Hi everyone, welcome to another one of my how-to installation videos. Today we're unboxing and installing a Chinese gimbal on a DJI Phantom 2. Inside you should have a bag of wires for the power pitch and roll, as well as some screws for mounting the bracket. As you'll see here, the rubber anti-vibration bumpers are already installed on this gimbal. Depending on the model, they'll either be installed or in a separate baggie for you to install them yourself. So what you should have in your bag is the power cord, which will connect to the gimbal as well as to your Phantom's power source. You'll also have a set of wires that connects to the gimbal that controls the pitch and roll. And left over, you should just have a bag of screws to attach the gimbal. Here's a list of tools for the job. Mini screwdriver, solder, soldering gun, a hex screwdriver, pliers and wire cutter, and shrink tubing. We're going to start off by taking our mini Phillips head screwdriver and removing the Phillips head screws at each four ends of the drone. Then you're going to take your hex screwdriver and remove the three hex screws that are located on the arm. Those four do not remove as they're for the motor of the drone. Once you've got all the screws removed, flip the drone over to take off the top. You'll see here it has the GPS wire attached. This easily is pulled off and set aside. Once you have the top taken off, flip the drone back over and grab the gimbal. If the rubber bumpers aren't already installed, leave them off. If they are, what you're going to do is take the bumpers off the bottom part of the gimbal and leave them on the top and then place the mounting bracket on the drone as seen here. Those that don't have the bumpers installed already, install them on the mounting bracket first before attaching the bracket to the drone. This way it's easier to put the bumpers on the mounting bracket. Now we're going to attach the gimbal to the rubber bumpers. This can be a little tricky and will require you to be delicate as you push the rubber through the hole in the opening. You don't want to push too hard or pull too hard as you could rip or tear that rubber bumper. Be careful when installing this. Make sure you've installed the gimbal properly with the attachment facing towards the USB port on the Phantom and the motor facing towards the back where the battery lies. Now you're gonna grab your power cord. This is going to be soldered onto the Phantom's power source with red to red and black to black. This is what it should look like when the solder is complete. Now you're going to take the power attachment and push it through one of the holes on the Phantom's arm. You can use a screwdriver to get it through and then use the pliers on the other side to pull it completely through. Once you have it through the arm, you're going to take the attachment off of the gimbal and the attachment from the power and connect them together. Now that you have the power connected, it's time to install the GoPro. You do not want to turn your gimbal on until the camera is mounted or you have weight on the gimbal. Once the GoPro is installed, turn your Phantom's power on. You will see that the GoPro will level itself out. Now we want to install the pitch wire that is used to control the pitch of the gimbal while you're flying 
on the remote. You're only going to need one wire for this, so choose any wire, it doesn't matter which color, pull it off, and you're going to then attach that to the side of the gimbal Depending on the model, you'll either have a row of four across or a row of two across. No matter which model, you're going to install the wire on the top left hand wire connection pin. Then you're going to maneuver the wire through another one of the holes on the Phantom's arm, pull it up through, and you're going to attach it to the NASA. Here you're going to connect it to F2. And to the bottom left pin. Tuck the wires away so when you place the top back on the Phantom, they are not smashed or cut. Now turn your transmitter on. Then turn on your Phantom. Once the camera has leveled itself out, you could then use the control pitch lever on the back of the transmitter to rotate your camera up or down. If you wish to or need to adjust the pitch of the camera when tilted down or tilted up, you can do so by using a software by the Chinese gimbal. Now just put the top back on and remember to plug back in your GPS of your Phantom. Screw it all together and you're ready to fly. Don't forget to like or subscribe if this helped. Thank you.